mess, you guys. I am a mess. I'm definitely in an artist's slump that I can give this happiness to you. Hello, 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 hello! I am so excited! It is another weekly vlog and this week we're going to be doing a couple of things differently to hopefully make it go a little bit smoother. If you watched last week's vlog you would know that I hated my weekly drawing like I hated it at the very end I was like I didn't have enough time to do this and that was because I waited until the very end to do it that was on me so I figured this week I would try to pick up my daily drawing habits again and use that to work on the weekly illustration so that I have more time to play around with things to try things out to start over if I want to whatever have you so we're gonna try that this week and I thought it would also be fun to pick out a mini TBR at the beginning of every week since I would like to read at least two to three books a week anyway I could just do a mini TBR and we can try and read as many books from it or swap them out or whatever but the first book that I ended up picking was The Monarchs by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. This is the sequel to The Ravens, which is a witchy sorority mystery sort of thing. I have no clue what this direction is going to go. We'll see. <laughs> Then I thought it would be nice to go with a book that I've already read because not only have I been wanting to do this for ages but I also made it a rule on my tabletop TBR that I get points if I reread books since I'm so bad at doing that. So I decided to finally re-pick up Memoirs of a Geisha. This if you've seen my booktube newbie tag you would know this was one of the first books that I fell in love with and it's been many many years at this point since the last time I've read it maybe like 15 years since I read it last and I don't know if it holds up well I've also learned more things about it that may influence my thoughts so we're gonna take a deep dive and see if it's something that I still love and then lastly for this week's mini TBR I figured I'd go with another high school read and pick up Brave New World by Aldous Huxley this one is a really short novella ish story set in some dystopia world I actually do not remember at all so these are the books that I'm hoping to pick I think I'm gonna start with this one and then hopefully we'll read the other two this week or we won't or we'll swap them out I don't know it's flexible okay and then the last thing the whole point and focus of this week's vlog hopefully we'll see how this goes is I'm gonna try oh there you come right when we get down to the nitty-gritty meat of things say hi oh you are not there we go is that more comfortable no? Okay. Okay, okay. I got you. Watch your little claws. The meat of this video is that I am going to try and add the rest of my books. Ambitious! maybe not to pango books and see if i can sell more books i have a lot of them i have a huge stack behind me of books that still need to be added also one of the people at pango books reach out to me because i saw my last video i have a code for people who want to sign up so that you can get a discount and i will have that linked down in the description box selling books reading books drawing daily this is gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time. And then you get some kiwi love. Sorry, kiwi. Some kiwi love. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, so I finished all of the video editing. I have the besties extended cut version of last week's vlog. Uh, currently exporting. It is taking forever though and I don't have too much time before I have to leave for work so a little bit nervous. I feel a little little house on the prairie-ish today. I freaking love this top so much. I have it in two colors and I want to get more. It's not a cheap top though. The behind the scenes.
Well, there's a whiteboard here. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> okay, so my work day is over. I had some uh, late meetings, but now I am actually working on printing stickers for my work because we have a bowling party thing happening to celebrate my team on Wednesday after work. And the office manager made these cute little gumball things, making stickers stickers for them that just says gutter balls. So that's what I'm doing right now. I figured since I'm doing this, I might as well work on printing out the last of the Patreon stickers. So I'm going to at least have everything printed today. I'll probably cut the stickers as well since the machine is already set up. So that's what I'm focusing on right now. And then hopefully we can start working on the weekly illustration so that I don't have a repeat of last week. <laughs> isn't sticky enough anymore. I have to peel off the pieces in the back while it's still cutting so that they don't like fold out excuse the ink, I had to change the ink in my printer, but so that they don't fold up and get stuck on this bar thing and then ruin the stickers. You do what you gotta do. Not putting these things to waste, that's for show. <laughs> Okay, I'm so excited. We are finally doing the Patreon stickers. <laughs> and they're turning out really good so far. So a plus and a plus. Oh shoot, why is that happening? There should only be one line around here. I think it's because, there we go. It was just because I didn't have lines selected in the little type here this one does everything and then this one does it by color false alarm we're all good <laughs> But basically I was saying that my blade is dull, so it's it's getting harder and harder to get these bad boys out. I have to be like very careful so I don't like tear anything. Fortunately, I only have these two sheets left and then all of the stickers are done. It's late, I am tired. I still have to start my weekly drawing, which I don't know what I'm gonna do for my weekly drawing. We're gonna figure that out together, I guess. I think I'm gonna do something simple because I think last week's was too complicated for me having just getting out of an art slump. So I feel like I should do something simple. I'm also thinking of trying to post regularly on Instagram again, but I don't, I don't know if I care enough about Instagram anymore. Yeah, that's it for the stickers. I have completed all of the stickers. Now all I have to do is like laminate the bookmark, uh, which I'm not gonna do tonight because it's already 10 o'clock and I am tired. Um, so I'm going to put this away and then we're gonna art for a little bit. Okay, here is my art status update. I did a quick sketch. I'm feeling it, it was fun. We'll see what comes of it. I will say, as much as I love it, I am having some issue with the like layout composition, but I guess that's a tomorrow me problem. <laughs> Good morning! So today is 
Tuesday. I'm working from home this morning and then I'm gonna hop in the office because we're doing some party prep plan things for our Wednesday bowling party at the company. I end up printing everything out for the party that I was supposed to do and I packaged it. I'm gonna deliver it to our office manager and then we're also going to visit the venue for lunch and just make sure that we're happy with the food that she's paying for. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. I did put up a poll about the Patreon rewards and thank you already to everybody who has been commenting on that. I also talked about the reward ideas that I have in the last weekly vlog. So if you have any ideas on things that you would rather me do or if you think that's a cool one, please let me know on that video. I'll have that link down below. I am doing another extended cut of this video like I did last week. I was just editing this video earlier today and there's a ton of bits that I am keeping in specifically for my channel besties and I'm really excited about this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this for every week but we might be able to do it enough. Is it weird for me to be super excited about an extended cut? Like it's not going to be for everyone. I cut that stuff out for a reason for the final vlog. It's just I figured people who want to hear more about the stuff that I'm talking about will enjoy the extended cut version. You know you get a little bit of extra, a little bit more of all the things that you see in the vlog. So if you are not a channel bestie it's okay. Hopefully you won't really be missing out on too much if you're not interested in hearing me talk more about stuff. Like I will, I want to make that clear. Like it's cool if you're not a channel bestie. It's just I'm glad I found a way to make this work is why I am ranting and raving about it because I was all like that would be cool if I could do it and then I was like mm, it's gonna be a lot of extra work and now here I am doing it two weeks in a row and I'm all like hey maybe this can be a little bit more normal. So we will see how it goes in the long run. <laughs> I have not started the Monarchs yet, but I'm hoping to start that today, probably after the work stuff when I come home and I'm just working on kind of tickets and stuff. There's not a bunch of stuff that I have to do today, so I think it'll be a good time for me to do the audiobook. I keep looking over at my planner just to see if I am on track with everything. I am going to try and do my daily illustration and I'm also doing daily squats because I don't do any kind of workout and I was like this will be a good way to get started just so that I get in the habit and then hopefully I'll build on it because I am out of shape so out of shape it is embarrassing it is embarrassing what little tiny things tire me out so we gotta we gotta get healthy again <laughs> Like I do not want to be huffing and puffing up some one flight of stairs. <laughs> this is not okay. I'm really excited. I'm really happy with how the vlogs are turning out. I'm really happy for the future. I'm really happy with work stuff. Like everything just feels like it's going really good right now. And yeah, I want to share the happiness with you and hopefully lift you guys up a little bit as well. I really wish that I can give this happiness to you and make you feel good. But I want you to know that you're amazing amazing keep doing you boo like you got this you can get through this okay so I decided that I would pull up the audiobook so I am prepared for this and I realized that I did not have it and it's not available at my library so I just got the kindle with whisper sync version so that I can listen to the audiobook and then I checked these bad boys to make sure I do have the audiobooks which I do from my library thank goodness <laughs> So we should be set. We should be able to start the TBR today. Uh, but yeah, but for now, I'm going to get ready, head to the office. We're going to check out the place, see the, some food, get some lunch, look at it, make sure it's all nice and on the up and up for the party tomorrow, figure out the logistics of everything, and then I will head back. So enjoy this footage, and I'll give you an update when I come back.
our event tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I am working on this week's illustration and I'm kind of just taking the sketch that I did yesterday and kind of inking it. And although I think it looks pretty good as I'm working on it, I am definitely having this problem where I hate it. Like I, I hate, I hate the way things are looking. It's just not what I want. It's fine. It's good. It's my style. There's nothing really wrong with it, but I'm just not enjoying it. It's not looking the way I want it to. I don't feel happy. So this kind of sucks. Um, this is currently where I'm at and I have no clue what I'm gonna do. Like, I feel like I need to try something different. There's part of me that's like, oh, I just wanna finish it and have something done that looks semi-decent. And then there's another part of me that's all like, well, instead of trying to focus on finishing it, maybe I should try and allow myself to experiment and be okay if I don't love the end result. <laughs> <laughs> it's very frustrating okay so i think i'm done with my attempt at drawing for tonight i didn't draw for very long but i found it very <sighs> disheartening almost i'm definitely in an artist slump i can't be mad because i'm not drawing enough to improve enough for me to be at the state that I clearly want to be. So I need to be kind to myself, but I'm struggling with that. Like I'm just upset and sad right now, which is very annoying. I don't necessarily not want to continue to draw, but I am taking a break right now because like I said, I'm a little, a little upset, <laughs> a little, a little not happy. That being said, I did think that it would be a good time for me to continue listening to The Monarchs, the sequel to The Ravens. It's kind of reintroducing us to the characters. I started this a little bit earlier today and I don't really know entirely what the plot is going to be in this one. There is a lot of stuff that happened in the last book. Obviously, I'm not going to go too much into depth because spoilers but I don't know what direction this one is going to take so I'm interested in kind of getting a little bit further but I'm not necessarily engaged with the book itself yet less than 24 pages into it right now so we will see I'm thinking of reading along for a little while and then after I do that for a minute then I might uh, draw in bed and continue to listen to it that may or may not happen for now it's it's book time it's reading time we're gonna get into this we're gonna enjoy I don't know I guess I'm not going to say definitively that I'm going to enjoy it, but we will see. Yeah, which one? 
Guava. 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 If there's guava, I'll take it. If not, the other ones are fine too. Yeah, cool. Sweet! Well done. Blango pie tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar, cornstarch, and whatever's in the freezer. That's cute. Thank you. <laughs> We're here. Oh my god. Yeah. In person session, however Actually, short, is crazy. It feels so good to like argue over snacks and yep. saying about like it's like yes. <laughs> Definitely no black magic happening over here. <laughs> it is Ouija Uncle board. Oh, it's just a uni board. <laughs> <laughs> Taldemar, I'm going to assume to some degree by instinct is going to do one of her phase shifty things. I rolled the six. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm still stuck in a pillar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my bar's all like, hey guys, you got you. I got you. Because I can only use one. <laughs> Good morning. So today is Thursday, April 28th. I am a mess. <laughs> um, so yesterday we had our company bowling pol po our company bowling party to uh, celebrate our web team, which is a team I've been a part of for pretty much the whole time I've been at the company to some degree and it's been just really nice. Ended up helping a lot with setting up and helping with some of the activities and things like that, which was really fun. And then I filmed the whole event for everybody and I just edited it this morning. My schedule is off because Wednesdays I usually stay home and do laundry and I didn't do that. And now I'm like, oh, I should do that today, but I usually go in on Thursdays, so. <laughs> I'm all over the place. But yeah, I'm in a really good mood. But it was it was such a good time. It's always really nice to be able to hang out with people that you haven't seen in a while and enjoy their company. So it was a lot of fun being able to kind of hang out with everybody. And it was fun filming the event. That's the first time I really dedicated so much of my like time and energy during an event just for filming. And it was cool. Like I didn't bowl, which was a little sad and I didn't get much footage of myself, but I was able to go around, capture a bunch of moments, put together a fun video. It was pretty cool. I, I really did enjoy that. <laughs> like more than I thought I would. Okay, 20th time is the charm. <laughs> you guys don't even know. I keep trying to film this. I'm a mess, you guys. I am a mess, but it makes sense. The reason why it's friggin' nine o'clock right now, and I haven't given you an update for a while is because I'm a mess and a lot has been going on. I have a lot of updates to give you. Uh, first off, I have continued listening to The Monarchs. I've been struggling with this book, by the way. Like, I keep not having interest to read it, so I just didn't get very far. Today I finally got to a part, which actually wasn't that far into it, I guess it was, maybe like 30% into the book, where I was like, oh, okay, I see what we're doing here, like, it's, it, it's, it's going to be really intriguing. I really want to know what's happening. Uh, before that, I was kind of interested. Like, there was stuff that was interesting, but for some reason I just wasn't in the mood because I think in general I might, I might just not be in the mood for this. I'm enjoying the book, but there's part of me that just doesn't want to read right now, I guess. Why? Like, I want to, but I don't. Uh, so that's been a struggle because I've gotten to the part where I'm like, oh, I really want to know what's happening. And then for some reason I paused it and I haven't, I haven't started it up again. Why? Beats me. Yeah, so I tackled that today. And then as I was listening to the audiobook after work, I started uh, finishing up all of the Patreon rewards because we have hit the end of the line. It's the end of the line. I said I was gonna mail everything out at the end of April. It is literally the day before the last day of April. So I need to get, I need to get it out. And I have been, for the most part, pretty ready. I got all of the big stuff done, but I just needed to like laminate and cut all of the bookmarks. Yeah, that was the only thing left for me to do. So I ended up doing that and I struggled because like the place that I normally do it has a bunch of books on it. So I wasn't able to do that. I had to MacGyver a space.
I feel like the problem that I'm having right now with doing all of the Patreon rewards is that I just don't have dedicated space for doing stuff like that. And my room is kind of like a nightmare at the moment. Like I have clean laundry in a pile in my book nook. There's stuff on my bed. There's boxes over there. There's well, I was gonna say there's this crap back here. There is it. There's a signed book of Anne of West Philly, which is an Anne of Green Gables modern retelling that my friend illustrated and I got her to sign it. And she wrote me a little novel. It was so sweet. Oh my god. I am so proud of her. She's amazing though. Like there's <laughs> part of me is all like there's nothing to be proud of because she was already like bomb diggity, but I am because she's, I don't know, she's just freaking amazing. Uh, but I have a mess behind me that I need to deal with. And then I just, it's just, it's a nightmare. So when I have to print and cut and do all of the stuff, I really have to work around the nightmare that is my life. So it's just been really stressful to do. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to take this break to begin with. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. <laughs> Let me be honest, there's a lot of reasons why I needed the break and that was just one of them. It's funny though because part of me, I had so much fun packaging all of these rewards because it's like two months worth of rewards here. So I was able to like, first off, feel ballin'. I was all like, oh look at all of the rewards I got to do. I do still get to, well, not anymore because <laughs> I've definitely lost, you know, all of the patrons because that the tier is no longer um, around. I am very fortunate to have, uh, you know, like this many people uh, who was supporting me in the physical reward tiers and I look forward to coming back but I do know I'm gonna have to do things a little bit differently like for friggin sure yeah that's what I've been up to another thing unfortunately because I've been heads down focusing on patreon reward stuff I haven't really been doing the illustrations and I'm just struggling with the illustration as you saw earlier in the week I do have time now but I'm too tired like I do not have the motivation to work on it part of me is all like hey you did a big task today you were successful it's okay you don't have to do it so tomorrow is kind of my last day of the week to really get things done and I have a ton of stuff that I I have to do tomorrow so uh, <laughs> why is life so life <laughs> oh I'm so tired finally finished the rewards hello loves and good morning it is currently Saturday April 30th it is noon and I'm about to go to the post office to drop off all of the patreon rewards for February and March as promised and then I am very excited to have a break from physical rewards I am still doing the updates and starting next month tomorrow <laughs> Um, I'm also gonna start doing digital rewards, but it's gonna be a lot less than I used to do. They'll just be a monthly phone wallpaper and coloring page. So I'm gonna start doing that up next month and then hopefully in August, September, October, sometime around there, I'm gonna start doing physical rewards again with like a bookmark tier, uh, maybe a postcard tier, and then a combo tier or something like that. Uh, still working out the details. <laughs> but yeah, I feel pretty good. I just did my hair so that I could leave the house and not look like a crazy person. I am currently in the middle of doing my hair. It looks so silly right now, but I am waiting for the hair spray to set a little bit so I'm waiting a couple of minutes and then I'm about to brush it out I just took it out of the wet set I finally finished the monarchs it is the last day of the month so this is the last book of the month I finished it I'm excited good times <laughs> 
uh, I actually really, really liked it. Like really, really liked it. I did have problems with it while I was reading it. As I said, it took a while for me to get into it. I thought it had a bunch of interesting stuff, but I just wasn't invested like I was hoping I would be. And then there were several things that people were doing that I thought was really stupid and I found really annoying. But in the end, I ended up loving what happened. I, I loved how they kind of resolved everything. I found it interesting. It made me smile. I will say there is some cheesy aspects to this series. This is a YA supernatural witchcraft sorority thing. The, the people are young. It is what it is. I think enough time has passed though that maybe I can do something with this hair and I will be back. <laughs> and now that it is uh, manageable, it's not perfect, but it's like doable, I am going to go to the post office and I will catch you later. Just got out of the library. I did my returns. Might head back in there on the way back, but first we gotta drop off the Patreon rewards. Okay, it is done. Mission success. Now I need to figure out if I want to go to get more bucks. Maybe I'll peek. I'll peek for a little bit just to see what they have. Okay, mission success. I got all of the books. Um, I went to do the self-checkout and it ended up registering all of the books except one for some reason. No clue why. This actually happened the first time I went as well. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a book haul, so get excited. I don't know why, but I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. <laughs> That was a success, let's say. I ended up getting there, I dropped off all of my old books, I went and I dropped off all of the Patreon rewards, they are finally done! I can actually relax and rest for a little while. I am gonna jump back into doing digital rewards, as I think I may have mentioned earlier, so I'm not fully like on a break. I'm gonna still continue to do updates and lens posts and things like that. I I was gonna try and get footage of me out and about, but I totally forgot. I was so like in the zone, so I didn't share that with my patrons, but I did get some footage for the vlog. After dropping off the orders, I did go to the library again, but this time to kind of look at stuff. And it's funny because I was there walking around not finding anything that I was interested in. So I was all like, oh, guess we're not getting anything. <sighs> But boy, was I wrong about that. <laughs> so I ended up getting Yellow Wife by Sariqua Johnson. This is a historical romance by a black author, as far as I know. Don't know anything about it. I ended up getting American Supernatural Tales, which is a collection of short stories, and I will probably hate it. But because it's supposed to be spooky and supernatural and scary, I think it might be enjoyable to do a thing that I like slowly read over the month or something. I don't know. I also got Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. This is something that I think was popular on booktube a few years ago. I've had it on my radar for years but just never got it and now it is. As far as I know this is about some tragedy that happens at a school maybe and then years later there is a movie being made about it and they I think they go back to the scene of whatever happened and the actresses end up experiencing stuff I have no clue I could be thinking of a completely different story we're gonna find out later <laughs> then I ended up getting one of Kayla's from Books and Lala's favorite books We Ride Upon Sticks by Quan Berry, who seems to be another POC author, not 100% sure, uh, but it seems like it. And this is a sports, I'm a little nervous about that, but it's another witchy sorority thing, but involving 
sports. I have no clue. <laughs> because Kayla likes it so much I'm just really interested and I love magical stuff like I love anything with witches and magic sort of uh, <laughs> so hopefully I love this another book that I have no clue about is in the garden of spite uh, and it says a novel of the black widow of the porte by Camilla Bruce and that just sounded really intriguing to me it looks spooky i like spooky books so i picked it up and then lastly i ended up getting never night by jay kristoff feel like i've heard conflicting things i'm not sure about this one but i've seen it around i've been interested so i figured i'd give it a shot they did have book one and book three but they didn't have book two or else originally i was just gonna try and get like the whole trilogy and read them all like back to back interesting interested to see what it's all about. And that's it for my library book haul. Really excited to go to the library more. Hopefully when I end up moving I'll be relatively close to a library so I can continue this tradition now that it's something that I do. I love the library. I really do which is really funny because I don't go to the library very often. This is the second time I've been to the library since I was in high school. <laughs> Never been somebody who goes to the library too much. I think I was always afraid that I wouldn't finish the books in time and that I would get like late fees or whatever and I don't know that just I wasn't a fan of the idea of that like I'm somebody who likes doing things on time and like I get really stressed out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be reading the other two books this week for my weekly TBR. Yeah like I don't think so but that being said I actually have to film the May tabletop TBR game so I will chat with you later. Thank you for being awesome. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let's get into it. Ugh. So, let Good morning! It is Sunday, May 1st. I'm actually really excited because it is my baby brother's birthday today, so I'm going to be spending some time with him. Uh, and I thought it would be good to start doing weekly tarot readings because a couple of weeks back I ended up getting a really awesome spread and I thought it would be a fun way to kick off the next vlog or the next week. So we're going to start this now! another positive reading. So first card says that the universe is on my side when it comes to financial woes, but I should make sure that I'm not wasting money on frivolous things so that I can focus on the bigger picture, which is right on the nose considering I am trying to save up for a house. This tells me to be kind to myself, that I am stronger than I think, and that it is important to rest if you're feeling tired, which I have been, and that I shouldn't repress uh, raw emotions, that instead I should embrace them and, and use them in a way so that they don't kind of hurt me or people that I care about. So I always find that a good reminder. It's something I'm constantly trying to work on. This one is super exciting because it is a big double thing for me. It is telling me that I am close to completing my goal, which... <sighs> <laughs> I am like really excited about things that are happening but I'm also nervous obviously anytime big change happens so anytime I have the cards that are kind of supportive of the changes that I'm going through it's it's a big friggin deal and this one is a card of travel and since the big goal in question for me is kind of revolving around getting a house and possibly moving which it seems like is happening. <laughs> um, this is a really good sign. It's telling me that this is the right decision and everything is kind of falling in place and helping that be a thing to happen. Uh, and this one is talking about new opportunities coming my way and being okay with saying no to them if they don't fit my goals, but being open to accepting ones that I think do. It also hints at taking a break from uh, 
media and reflecting. So I'm interested in how I'm actually going to handle that next week. Am I gonna try and take a break from reading a bunch of books and stuff? right? Like I read in my vlogs. So I don't know. I don't know. Are we just going to focus on one book next week? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know. So yeah. Yeah, that is a pretty good spread for this coming week. Really excited about that. Also, I feel like I should give you guys a update on my thoughts on Memoirs of Vacation now that I've gotten a little bit further into it. I am really enjoying it so far. I do like the storytelling quality of it. It sounds like Sayuri really sat down and told this story and Arthur golden just kind of took what she told and kind of transcribed it so it feels like you're being told this story and I really like that aspect and I'm really excited to get more into it it's interesting when you know the big things are, are going to happen it's a little less stressful I think in certain cases but it's also like you know what's gonna happen so I don't know I'm interested to get a little bit further into this but unfortunately I don't think that's going to happen in this vlog because I'm gonna have to leave pretty soon and although I'm gonna listen to this on my way to my dad's house and probably on my way home I think there's more than I can finish in that time <laughs> so um, I will probably give you my final thoughts and final rating next week. I am going to end the video here because I'm gonna be hanging out with my little brother. We're gonna be playing board games Games, having a good time doing cake and birthday stuff like you know the, the good family things that you do with your family I am so so happy that I am able to spend time with my little brothers if you don't know for a good chunk of their lives they actually lived out of the country and I didn't get to see them very often so when they moved back it was a big deal and now that we are going to be moving together out of the state I'm going to get a couple of years where I actually get to live with them and see them grow and do all of their high school things because they're going into high school and that's like a really big deal for me so I'm really excited to spend some time with them. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Obviously, things did not go as planned. We did not finish the weekly illustration. Like, I kind of did, but I, I, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I am going to say I am not holding myself too strictly to the weekly illustration yet. We're going to do that a little bit later, probably after the move, because I had a bunch of house stuff that I was working on, and then obviously I had all of the Patreon stuff this week, which was way more important <laughs> for me to get out so yeah it didn't work out and then we had passed me lying about us selling books this week the meat of this video is that i am going to try and add the rest of my books to pango books and see if i can sell more books we we're gonna have to do that we are gonna have to do that in one of these upcoming weeks so stay tuned for that because I have a bunch of books here that have not been added that I would like to add and then I'm probably gonna lower some of the prices of the books that have been there for a while so I think that's kind of what I'm gonna do and then whatever doesn't sell in the next month or so I'm just gonna take to a store and try and see if I can sell it there and or just donate them so you can stay tuned for that I will continue to try to work on illustrations every week week not we haven't been successful we have not been successful I will show you how far we got on this week's illustration I started off the week strong with the daily drawing and then petered out petered out we didn't do it this whole week <laughs> We'll try again. We'll keep trying until we get into the habit. So it's okay. It is okay. I'm rambling at this point. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember that you are awesome. You do you, boo-boo. <laughs> if you made it this far, be sure to include this emoji down below. Check out more weekly vlogs here and or something else that YouTube thinks you'll like. And I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye!